I think on a youth sports level, uh, it's probably one of the most popular sports uh, around. There are few things that are more important than for a kid than getting outside and running around. And soccer is a great way to do it. It brings people together. You know, you you you, you see so many kids from uh, different economic classes, different ethnic backgrounds, different religious backgrounds, all coming together. And I think the part that gets overlooked the most is the thinking part because soccer is a game that is just always moving, it's always flowing, and the players are really left on their own to make decisions. Every time a kid has a ball, uh, you know, maybe he or she has to dribble or pass. And, you know, where do you dribble? Where do you pass? Do you shield it? And uh, which direction are you going to go? Uh, you know, remember to keep your head up. So many little things to remember. When I think you have kids that feel like they can dribble through five or six players, that's a good thing. That's, that, that's confidence. If a kid has confidence on the ball, I, you know, they can, uh, really develop into great players. The emphasis is on skills and uh, you know developing the footwork. We don't worry about conditioning or tactics or strategy. You know the kids are you know seven, eight, nine, ten years old. You just want them to get good with their feet. When I see them do the moves that they do, these are not things that you know I taught them. I'd break my leg if I tried to teach them. But these kids do these moves because maybe they'll watch a soccer video and they'll see these moves perform and they'll try it on their own and they'll improvise. You know, I just kind of want to focus not so much on the numbers that are playing, but the kids who are playing. I think you want to try to give them uh, just good soccer experiences. And that way, I think the sport will keep on expanding. And who knows, maybe 20, 30, 50 years from now, it might be the top sport in the country.